Life grows back. It always grows back. But how long does it take? And what do we find growing in the empty places? What brought this to mind was a patch of barren ground beneath a tree. I call it barren, but it isn't really. Plants will grow here again. They're growing there right now. Nor is the soil empty because good dirt contains whole hosts of little fungi and microscopic crawlies and bacteria in the gaps between, between whatever it is, I don't know, dead plant matter and minerals, and what else? The organisms themselves, for without them, no decay. I've seen the kind of poor soil that seems like so much nothing in your hands. That's most of my home state. Here, Iowa, is where the Easterners came for good harvests. So do I see that kind of soil before me? I don't know. I'm too lazy to dig. But then I worry. Is this soil exposed because of some upheaval, like a fallen tree or some digging? Or is it too poor to support much grass? A few grasses and small broadleaf plants grow there anyway, past the rocks, sticks, roots, and litter. This is what life does. It keeps living. Plants, for their part, grow around any obstacle, or over it, or over everything in the area, and then some, if you've ever seen purple loose dry. Bear Briar does something similar in Connecticut. John Muir wrote of trees that could grow on mountainsides, and it's not surprising. Even a small crack is enough for a desperate root, much the, to the mountain's chagrin. Life will fill whatever niche it can. For plants, this applies to literal niches. So this soil will be covered in time. The grass I'm sitting on is lush and soft. Plants growing in poor soil rarely are unless they're rich while the soil is poor. Maybe that's how it works in Connecticut. There are great forests there, but the soil is all full of rocks and clay. For a while, everything was farmland, but then people heard of places like Iowa, and they said, You know what? I've had it with not cursing, and I've had it with this damn New England soil. Let's head west. So they left those fields behind, and the forests grew back. Perhaps the same thing will happen with Iowa eventually. But... Is abandonment what it takes to restore things? There's a brownfield site in my hometown. It used to be a gas station. Now it's little blades of grass between pebbles. So life grows back. It doesn't always grow back pretty, but it grows back. What I ask of humanity is that we survive long enough to see everything grow back pretty. Sometimes it takes hundreds or thousands of years. Some things, like Iowa soil, only need a few years. People plant trees and restore wilderness, knowing that the things they begin may not get results in a single lifetime. I once saw an animated film called The Man Who Planted Trees. The man lived in a war-torn mountain area and saw the place turn desolate, and he decided to replant trees. It was a huge area, and he died before the trees grew up tall, but he succeeded. It is this sort of devotion that keeps us from the fate of New England. We need not flee a place to see it flourish again, if we think of life and time beyond our own short spans. But this soil will see new growth soon enough.